It's not in that knee jamming up into his armpit, okay? So my knee of the leg that's not in is gonna slide up and jam in his armpit. The leg that is in, my laces are gonna drop on his hamstring, okay? And then I'm gonna turn my body, kinda like I'm looking across his, and you see on my leg, it's almost kinda like I have a leg half, right here as I swing my knee to his armpit and open my hips, it turns his belt buckle, starts turning it towards the ceiling. Now, when I get to this position, I'm just gonna lock my hands around his far arm and his head, okay? And I'm gonna lift him as tall as I can up to my chest, and I'm gonna pull him back over my knee, okay? He's gonna start bridging, and this top foot's gonna go find his far knee. I'm not gonna pin him here, but the beautiful part of this is after I get my five count, and he belly's down, I'm right back on top, ankles are crossed, knees are wide, he feels miserable, okay? Because he's just giving up points, and it's real tough for him to get away. So he's gonna be flat, okay? And then we'll piece this together a little bit better with momentum and some other stuff. Knees wide, ankles crossed, his knees floating. The knee that is not in is gonna swing up to his armpit, jam, my laces are gonna drop to his far hamstring, and I'm gonna turn my body, okay? I'm gonna lock head, far arm, and I'm gonna lift it straight up towards my chin. You see how my knee is under my body? If my knee is way back here and I try to lift, I don't have anything under me. Okay, I gotta slide my knee to his armpit so my knee's under me so I can lift straight up. And then I take his shoulders over this little wedge I just created with my knee. Fall back, squeeze tight, he's gonna bridge. I find his far knee with my foot, okay? Then he bellies down when? When does he belly down? Better. No, when does he belly down? When I let him belly down. He doesn't earn anything. I want him to feel like everything's the wrong answer and I'm always in control. So when I'm here, I always switch to top hand. And I make him pull me back on top. Make him pull me back on top. And then boom, I'm right back to work. Okay, I want him to feel it. I want him to just get it more and more and more discouraged on body. Okay, so wait, please. And we'll do this out of a turn and, and talk about momentum here in a second. But we're just starting in a good position. Ankle cross, knees wide, leg on the back and knees floating. The leg that's not in is gonna swing up to his armpit. See how my leg kind of windshield wipers to his hamstring right here? Here, and I open his hips up with my foot. My knee is under me, feet are in the mat, I'm athletic. Head, far arm, lift. It's gonna feel loose. I got some play in here. You can lock tighter if you want to. I really don't care so much about this being loose. I just wanna get it up and over the wedge and find his far knee, okay? Then I just switch top hand when the count's over and I'm arching, I'm arching, I'm making him work. I'm making him work. Right back to here. 